The intensity, competitiveness, and of course the bragging rights make video games downright addictive. But these games are old school tech. I want to see the future of gaming technology, and I know just the guy for the job. Nathan, so this is the Servios experience? Yeah, he's actually in virtual reality right now. No oh, idea. Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. So yeah, okay, we can see him standing here, but he's obviously in that game. He's completely immersed. He doesn't really know we're here. It's a very intense experience. Well, let's let's talk about some of the tech because the only thing that I really recognize is the Oculus that's on his face right now. Right. So he's actually uh, wearing a number of different pieces of technology. Uh, there's a motion tracking system built in there, uh, and an optical tracking system that we built that's uh, tracking that uh, orb that's on his head. And he's actually wearing a mobile computer on his back that actually powers the game. Now he's obviously fully engaged. How is he staying within this space? Because it seems like he would just be going crazy, just knocking everything over around the office here. Well, there's a, um, a virtual force field that we can't see, but he'll actually see it as he walks closer to the edge of the play space. So just in case you didn't catch all that, Nathan and his team have created a video game where your entire right, so body is 100% immersed and you can move around totally free. Now, this has never been done before. And I get to test it out. The Servius experience really makes you feel that natural human fear. It's a really a primal instinct that you kind of feel when you're in the system because it activates your fight or flight response. All right, so I can't wait to get hooked up and fight true. off some zombies. Look, I'm slipping on the proton pack, man. All right, I'm going in. <laughs> that, that force field we talked about will actually come up around you. So go ahead and try walking around the area. Take like a nice little stroll. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm stepping off the white area, that's trippy. Reach out and grab the play button, play it. What? Are you serious? <laughs> I just fist bumped a play button, Nathan. So there's uh, different weapons around you as part of your uh, training. Oh, Nathan, this is intuitive. Okay, so just... It feels like I've left Earth and entered a new world where I have to fight to stay alive. Try holding it lower, like at your hip. There you go, now aim it, aim it and fire. All right, oh, whoa, I just saw this behind me. I keep forgetting this is an entire world around me. So um, grab the grenade on your chest. Okay. And you can activate it with your index finger. And then you can throw it. Not even close. That was the coolest training experience I've ever had. <laughs> Usually tutorials are a drag, but that was awesome. I think it's gonna be complicated, but it, it, it isn't. It feels just like I'm picking something up and doing an action. Now your training is complete. You tried all the weapons, you know what to do in the system. Okay. I think you're ready to battle some zombies. Let's go Let's back in. Back off, zombies. This is my territory. Oh, wow, this is, whoa, this is way too intense, whoa! Seriously, this is insane. Okay, trippy, lifeless zombies. That's good, though. That's good. Come on, zombies. Oh, whoa, there they are. Oh, not even close. Ah! Whoa, where are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I've lost my axe. Woo! Holy. You guys nailed it! Thanks. Like, I seriously felt like I was in there. I mean, the zombies around me, that feeling of paranoia of it's behind me, it's behind me. I mean, the, the hair on the back of my neck was totally standing up. Like, there was panic there. Yeah, it's real fight or flight. Like, you're not sure if you're gonna make it. It's like with the tech, I mean, the tracking is absolutely flawless. I mean, I felt like everywhere I moved, it was following me perfect. And the other thing, too, is I've had a couple of virtual reality experiences before, but I felt no nausea or queasiness at all moving around, which is a first for me. If there's a dissonance between how you move in real life and how your character moves in the virtual world, you'll have that queasiness feeling. But okay. with this system, there's no difference. So that's why we work on everything all at the same time to build the best possible experience. Okay, now the most important question is, when am I going to have this in my living room? Because I want it yesterday. <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> as soon as possible. We're working on it. All right, well, in the meantime, I don't know, what do you think? Round two? Let's do it. Later.